Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see um, who's thinking about you, who has you on their mind. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot readings myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below. Okay, um... kind of flew they kind of came out in reverse so maybe I should read them upright um, no I'm gonna read them upright and in reverse that's what I meant I'm just wow I just feel like there's a lot of conflicting energies that's what this is it's like someone's thinking about you but they're not communicating that to you. It's almost like they don't want you to know. They want to text you, they want to communicate, but they don't know what to say. They're missing you, but they don't show you this. There's just so much conflict in the energies. There's still such a, such a spark, such an attraction between the two of you. But they're not doing, they're not taking any steps forward in trying to, you know, really ignite that spark, fuel it into a fire. Whichever way you look at it, upright or reverse, your connection with this person is, or someone's energy, it feels like... It's under the influence of a tower moment. Something here is really shaping and shifting okay um, and then you have the knight of cups okay this is someone who i feel like is still energetically and emotionally connected to you now i understand that this person might not necessarily be communicating with you or if they are communicating with you i don't think you're getting the truest reflection of their thoughts, feelings, and their intentions for you and for this connection. There's something going on with this person, and if they've been acting weird or strange lately, uh, some of that energy is transitioning into their emotional, uh, into their like emotional behavior, and you know their the, the actions as well. Um, this is someone who is having dreams of you. I feel like this person has been dreaming about you a lot. So, and I think you're. They're really consumed by thoughts of you, okay? This is, like, you're really dominating. I don't know if you know this, but you're really dominating a lot of their mental space. Some of you are aware of this because you have been thinking about them a lot as well, right? This is someone, I think you know who this person is for you. They are someone special, but this is a very, I'm going to say it's a very intricate, a very complex situation. It's not so black and white. There are so many patches of grey area here. It's not as straightforward. It's very complex, actually. But you've, especially now more than ever, you've probably been thinking about this person a lot as well. Um, I don't know if this is because it's leading up to a very important date, like an anniversary or their birthday, um, or something, or like a breakup may have happened just recently or around this time I feel like there's some sort of significance about the timing because you've been thinking about this person a lot especially a lot more frequently lately um, that's because you're picking up on their energy okay and um, you too have I feel like you you too have some sort of like a storm of emotions here and your energy is mirroring this person's energy you're also dreaming about this person but I feel like with this person they're being consumed by you and there's such a pull and push kind of energy with them, okay? Um, I'm, I'm reading the cards both upright and in reverse. And there's such an inconsistency in what this person says and does and what they feel and, you know, um, what they want to feel. There's just such a complexity there that this person is, in a way, they are communicating. For example, even if they're... Um, not telling you like even if you guys are communicating with each other they're not really telling you they're holding back they're not really telling you you know 
their true intentions or their true feelings for you. And I think you're intuitively, there's intuitive associations that you're getting, you know, about this person holding back or not being, you know, as straightforward with you as you want them to be. So there's definitely intuitive associations that you're getting around this person and around your situation with them, right? Um, they're thinking about you, they're dreaming about you, um, they want to communicate, they want to text, but in, in particular texting, I feel like this person has, I don't know if they've tried to reach out and you haven't responded, I don't know if that if it's that, or I don't know if it's them being scared that if they do tr try and reach out, you won't respond, and they're scared because that might be like a massive you know, a massive uh, bruise to their ego and they're scared that that might, you know, um, hurt their ego and their pride. There's such an emotional tug of war. That's how to best define this person's thoughts and their feelings. There's just such an emotional tug of war. There's some sort of disconnection between the both of you, okay? Some sort of discord or disconnection. You know, you've got the towel moment. This is someone maybe you're in a separation with okay maybe the both of you have broken up maybe you're going through something um very uncomfortable i'm gonna call it a transition because honestly you are where you are with this person to get to where you need to go wherever that is for you because it's different you know your, your destination is not all the same for all of you right um and right now you know and i, I know i always say this well, almost always with the tower moment but the reason why the situation has fallen apart is because the foundational structure on which this very relationship or this very connection was built upon was not healthy and was not sturdy um, or maybe once upon a time it was but over time the structure began to erode okay so what's happening right now is if you are at a disconnection or a separation or if you've broken up with this person there's something there or even if you guys are together you can feel that there's been some sort of shift in the energies like you know they're not things aren't how they were in the beginning or they're not really acting themselves they may be acting a bit weird or strange you yourself you know you're the expert in your own relationship right you know that there's something something's up um, and the tower moment is really an opportunity for you to take a really close look at your situation what's working and more importantly what isn't working so that you can you know and it, it's collapsing the situation is collapsing on you so that you can rebuild, okay, rebuild the foundational structure of what this is. So using, you know, a more sturdier, healthier, stronger foundation. This person wants to come back, but they're holding themselves back. This person, you know, they love you, but again, they're holding back their feelings for you. It's almost like, it's almost like they're afraid to love you. Um, and it's almost like, I don't know if this is someone whom you have separated with in the past and they're so scared maybe of going through the same, you know, through the same range of emotions, uh, breaking up, um, you know, hurting all over again. Um, and I feel like, because I can see that, you know, this person wants you, they love you, they want to be with you, um, but their actions aren't in alignment with what it is that they want. And that tells, that tells us that there is some sort of, inner conflict or an inner turmoil an inner storm with them okay and they are projecting their own fears insecurities inadequacies onto the relationship and i'm not saying your storm with this person is the reason you know their insecurity um or their uh fears are the reason why this relationship is collapsing but i do see that you know i do get this energy that they're projecting some of this on to the relationship which then is kind of hindering or fueling to what already it seems like a tense uncomfortable situation this person loves you but they're afraid to show it this person idolizes you um this is someone who dreams about you who thinks about you this is someone who Honestly, they type up their text message to you and just as they're about to hit send, they stop and they kind of let that text message sit in their inbox for a while. Um, this is someone who thinks about you, but then they try to stop themselves from doing so. This is someone who maybe has walked away from you, but then they want to come back, but they just don't know how to make that entrance back into your life. Okay, this is someone who's walked away from you, but they may have regretted or they regret not fighting hard to stay in this connection. 
there's just so many emotions what's unfair to to you is that you know they can't come back into the same they can't come back into the relationship in this energy because that's just going to further you know they're already confused and their confusion is going to add up you know rub off onto you okay it's not fair that they can't make up their mind about what it is that they want it's not fair to you right um it's not fair to this relationship as well so i feel like with your person they need to take a step back because there is love there is feelings there there is this you know you guys are energetically you guys are emotionally connected together and there's such an intense connection that you're it's almost a psychic connection it's almost like you know when you're thinking about them you know they're, they're picking up on that vibrational energy and th this then causes them to think of you as well they're reminded of you or can, they can just pick up and sense your energy that you're thinking about them um and you know similarly when they're thinking about you you're picking up on their vibration and you know you start thinking of them too you start thinking of you know your memories you had with this person or what they're up to so there's such a strong emotional and a psychic connection that it's quite intense and you know there is still such a attraction and connection that you feel for one another and that spark you know it's dimmed out a little I'm not gonna lie okay but it hasn't fizzled out completely the fire hasn't been put out completely okay it's still burning maybe the sparks are not as bright as they once were in the beginning but let me tell you it hasn't fizzled out completely between you and this person so this person that's thinking about you I think there's just such a storm of emotions that they find themselves drowning in their own emotions this person needs to spend some more time about what it is that they you know that they want because I feel like there's such a push and pull they need to decide they can't you know it, it's a yes or a no it can't be a maybe it's you know it's this or it's that it can't be the other do you know what I mean like this person needs to decide because it's not not only is it not fair to you it's not fair to them because this feels torturous this is someone who's back and forth on and off hot and cold and I don't know if they have their own personal issues to work through and I don't know if it's some of that personal issues that are then influencing this, um, you know, this, this whirlwind of emotions. But, you know, this person is thinking about you, but they're also so consumed by past hurts, by regrets, by, you know, their memories of you. This is someone who does idolize you. And, you know, maybe that's just part of the problem that they, you know, they're such, they're in such awe of you. They're in such admiration of you that they have never thought that they deserved you or they never thought that they were good enough for you okay so there was always that they always met this connection with resistance but there you have it guys thank you so much for watching listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye